In this presentation you will learn how to run the node in Kubernetes. Let's start by describing the agenda. First, we will initialize a Kubernetes single node cluster. Then, set up the deployment using a YAML file. After that, querying the node instance running in Kubernetes. Then, we will configure the cluster to run two replicas and test the connectivity again. And to finalize, we will connect to one of the pods using the interactive cell. Before getting into it, let's check the architecture used during the course of this demo. Kubernetes will be running in a single node cluster installed on a CentOS environment and the clients will be running in a separate Windows machine. Let's get rolling and open the console. We will make sure that the Kubernetes admin and Docker are installed. Also, the Denado platform images should be loaded into the local Docker repository. Lastly, we will check that we have internet connection so we can pull the rest of the necessary images to initiate the cluster. Once everything is checked, the next step is to start the Kubernetes cluster by running the init command. This verbose response shows important information like the commands to run once the init procedure has finished, or the syntax necessary for a worker node to join the cluster. As explained, we run the commands outlined before making sure all are completed, overwriting folders if necessary. Since we are going to use kubectl, let's check its version. Then we verify the status of the cluster. The master node is not ready. Let's dig into the initiation pods to see why the cluster is not ready. Coordinates pods are pending. Let's apply the network configuration so pods can communicate between each other. We will check again the status of the pods and the master server. All seem to be running unhealthy. Well, the last command is to taint the master node so it can accept the instantiation of our pods. Everything ready? Now we will start the pods in a declarative way by using a YAML configuration file. In this file we are declaring our deployment and our service. You can find a sample of this file in the Denodo community. You can adapt it to your environment. YAML checked. Let's create and run the deployment in the single node cluster. Let's make sure that the Denodo pod is running. Also, we will review the status of the deployment and the status of the service. Looks like the node is deployed successfully. Next step is to connect to this pod by using an external client. We provide the default credentials as well as the appropriate hostname. Lastly, to make sure the server accepts queries, let's run a simple query that returns a message from the server. We first type in the query and then we click on the button Execute. Mission accomplished. How about trying to launch two replicas of this pod? Let's start by deleting the previous deployment. With that command, everything should be stopped. We can now verify the status of the server again with the kubectl commands. Verified. We will go on and edit the YAML file to update the number of replicas from one to two. So let's find the part of the document that states the number of replicas. 
we modify it and then we save the configuration once again let's create and run our deployment but this time using two replicas get a verification of the number of pods and if you want you can review the details of the services started showing the internal Kubernetes network. Let's open the client and run the same query as before to validate our deployment. Another possibility is to access the node via the web front end. We open an internet browser and then type in the URL to read the RESTful endpoint. Authenticate providing the username and password. And access the admin database by changing the URL. Back to the command line, we will check again the pods. Both are still running. Let's use one of the pods to start an interactive shell. Navigate to the Venado Platform Configuration folder. Once there, open Virtual Data Port Configuration file. In this file, you can verify the ports are used are the same ones as shown in the description of the service. As you can see, running the node in a Kubernetes cluster is quick and easy. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.